Can you get in? Jesus, can't believe it. He says he can get in up there. It's gonna be hard work, this is. Oh, Jesus. Here we go, folks. This is what they do to stop people getting in, and all you do is just climb over the top of it. You're lucky somebody doesn't uh, throw a match and bl burn this bloody bullshit down. Cheeky little bastards. Oh, come on. That's all I fucking need. Come on. It's not. There's nothing you can't. Skagged to fuck. Skagged to fuck. Yeah, if you want to go down. Right, well, yeah, exactly, but um, it would be naughty of us to come this far and. Oh, I haven't got my head torch. What a silly twat. Where have I? Look at that down there, folks. So, it would be uh, bad of us not to uh, have a laugh. Ready for this? Come on, mate. Yeah. Get down here, my son. Have I got my torch? I don't think I got my torch. We're an idiot. How come I not got my torch? Oh, I have got my torch. Yeah, I have. What an idiot. <laughs> Get my torch on then. <laughs> you have forgot your gloves? Yeah. Oh, what a wanker. <laughs> what a f***ing North Walian f***ing sheep shagging wanker. <laughs> Jesus. They f***ing, they do my, they make them in North Wales, don't they? F***ing hell. Some mothers do have them. <laughs> well, you definitely don't want to have an epileptic fit going down here. It could end badly. Shit. Oh f I'm really sorry. I just I literally stepped on his toe, his his hands. Ow. Oh I'm so sorry, mate. I thought I thought you were like miles ahead of me. I literally stepped on his fingers, folks. You should have you should have shouted to me before I got close, man. Shit. That was not cool. No. Did I hurt you? No, that's fine. Stepped on his bloody fingers, I can't believe that. Every time I come, this seems to get smaller huh? and easier, yeah. I don't know why, it seems to get shorter every time I come. I used to think it was like hardcore, but not anymore. Just uh, slow down and stuff, isn't it? <laughs> not far from it. Mm-hmm. Somebody's gloves on the side by there then. There we go. <laughs> yeah folks, there he is.
Oof. But yeah, coming back up takes a bit longer. Well, 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 stinky smell. Wow. So you can go up to the top part of the caves. Basically remember, if you come uphill, you come to that exit. If you go downhill, you go to the entrance, which is at ground level. So, it's my light flashing on this. Yes. Good, thank you. This is one of uh, Swindon Spastic's favourite haunts. He even came down here with a with a inverter and turned the lights on. Such a little f moron. He's like, Mummy, I can connect two wires to an electric and turn it on. Cause I'm special, Mummy. I can t connect two wires, Mummy. Mummy. Just all the upper end of the cave really, there's not a hell of a lot here. Just a lot of dead ends, you know, because we're in the upper bit. Go over this way, start working our way down. And some of these things were to stop the airflow, to slow the airflow down so that the air would move around the cave. It's one of the ca biggest cannabis grow room operations in the UK, this was. Dead ends. Would you say when I'm standing like this, the, the, the camera is vertical, like sideways? Look from the side, is it like straight up? It's straight up, yeah. It's not like leaning forwards or too far back? No. Cool, thanks. It's very hard to judge it. Yeah, I've literally filmed in Birmingham and it was just like, all you could see was the ceiling when I was riding around on my bike. <laughs> it's like, oh, right. Bit of wasted footage. Oh, you, you haven't seen nothing yet, mate. Have you actually seen our videos of this? I've seen them all, yeah. Yeah. It's quite exciting when you first come down here for the very first time, isn't it? Yeah. Here we go, look. This reminds me of an old place that's now sealed up. Yeah, washrooms. It's more like a work washroom, you know, like for doing, working on equipment and stuff. Obviously, protective gear for what they were obviously using. Yeah, it's like washing engine parts or wash it, washing equipment or something. Mm. Because, honestly, sense of humour. Oh my God, the sense of humour was just like explosive. Yeah, it's right. like a grenade, grenade going off in my head.
So a lot of the grow room stuff is over here, I'll show you in a minute, but they've had parties in this, these bits because you can see people have been spray painting graphics and things for parties on the walls. Ah, right. Okay. You know, so these oh, yeah. tunnels have been used. Uh, yeah. So this used to be a mushroom farm. Mushrooms. Heinz mushrooms. Heinz. For Heinz, you know, Heinz soups. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So you can see day daylight. That's the main door in. And that's how the cannabis growers were coming in. They came in from the road and came along by the side of a house and in through this doorway. And they, they stole the electric and got the electric in up here. Oh, and yeah. the water. It's all piped in, look. Pipes yeah piped in all the electric and water. That's their little toilets, but what's interesting is if you go in there, look at the height of the ceiling, it's like for short people. Whoa. Why did they make it so short? Oh, it's so short, is it for foreign? Mm. 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 Inviting toilets. Ming in. Lovely. Nice. So they pushed earth up against the door from the other side so the doors can't, op can't open outwards. But it would be fairly easy for somebody to dig it out if they were so inclined. But there's not a lot of point if you can get in through the, uh, through the ladder. Oh yeah, Hello, bloody hell, and in? another one. It's got an even bigger back. Someone's tried to get into it. Yeah. They've tried, but they're not going to, not with them anyway. I mean, to be honest, all they have to do is is knock those out with um, with a sledgehammer and cut through the rebars. And once the doors, once the doors, can, they'll open inwards. You know, but. Uh, this is the workers, the workers walk, you know, there's the workers walk along here so they don't get hit by the vehicles coming in and out. Mm -hmm. Safety protection. Safety. Yeah. Yep. So it was originally um, a quarry for stone. Yeah. And then, uh, then got turned into the mushroom farm. And I think it was up to like the 60s, maybe, the mushroom farm was here. So, get some bobs if you want to go and have a look and check out. This is like their oil burners and oil furnaces, fuel, fuel store for. Oh, it's nice. mm. Paints. No smoking, no drinking, no eating, no breathing, no living. Yeah, not yeah. Do any of that. No, 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 nothing. Never, ever, bloody anything, ever. It's a boiler. It's a boiler, that. 
Stores room, shower. And this is the, the guys who used to wear the chemical protective gear. They would uh, come and get suited up in, in these little cupboards or whatever. These are probably guys who had to spray bug spray or chemical sprays. Cubicles for protective clothing and gloves. So kept separate. Yeah, you can go up this way, I think. Can go. Go on, then. Smashy. Well, this is all stuff from the growers, the grow room people. So they made a hell of a mess in here. So you can walk around, but well. When in Rome. Water, water containers for storing the water. You can see a lot of the pot plant uh, earth material over there, just chucked. You can see a lot more of that now. Bottles and bottles and bottles of water, drinking water, for the guys who are living down here. I mean, Christ, how, how they got all these bottles of water in here? It's, it's just, you know, it's a bloody military operation to be able to do that. Yeah equipment room so you got tents lights silver tents air, air filters they were using some of those to kind of get the air in and out and up here you've got a uh, nice big hole all the way to the surface which is worth having a look at so oh, wow. not as high as you think but we have come downhill you see from the top of the hill where we came in on the ladder to the doorway where we leads out, we've come downhill. Yeah, so we're halfway between the lowest point and the highest point where we came in. So uh, we're at the bottom of it now. Um, we're halfway now, halfway in. But um, this was their living area and eating area. These little pellet things are where they grow the grow the um, seeds. Yeah, I've got all their junk and shit. So they were living here, cooking their food. The cannabis growers were cooking their food on that malarkey. Yeah. I bet they had the monkeys as well. They yeah. Them. That was their bedroom, which uh, Swindon Spastic set fire to, and then and then blamed me and everyone else under the sun for burning that. But it was him, because he burns everything because he's a fucking mongoloid. Yeah. Um, more grow room leftovers and uh, here we are the start of crazyville oh, the, uh, wow. yeah and all the police did is they just slashed them up to come and see it but, but that wouldn't stop people reusing these i mean you could easily sew that and stick those back together and they'd be they're perfectly workable these are worth a lot of money these tents oh, not cheap yeah and there are a lot of them down here. I think some people have nicked the tent slowly. They've taken a few out. Mad stuff, eh? Yeah, they would have had water in here yeah. and they would bring the water from the top via pipes, fill it into here, and then this would act as a tank so they could take it straight to the, the rooms. There's more plant material, which has just been dumped. And there's, you can see containers of um, fertilizer stuff. And some of these fertilizer things, five liters of fertilizer is 200 quid. 200 quid. And there were quite a few of them still left here. Some of this sort of stuff is... Especially, it's specially made for cannabis, you know. So some people have been down here and helped themselves to the chemicals that were here because they were worth a lot of money. Yes, indeedy. 
Look, homemade weightlifting equipment that they made, look. Homemade weightlifting, shit. He must have a little, like, punch Yeah, so they were keeping themselves fit whilst they were down there. Look, Jim written on the wall as well. Gim. Yeah. Insert it sideways into my bim. Yeah. These are some, you know, they're not crappy quality. You know, it's, they spent a lot of money on this. Yeah. Madness. It's the madness. It's funny actually, I needed a couple of these clips, but I ain't got nothing to get them off with. I needed some of these clips the other day for something, and here they are. I was like, where would I buy those? And I was like, sure, there we are. But uh, we don't steal anything, even if it was like 20 pence worth of clips, we wouldn't. But I might have this though, I might have that. Like, fucking hell, that's coming with me, that is fucking right, that's it. Yeah, grab, grab that's it, that's it. It's not down there, Yeah, yeah. No, no. That's fucking coming home, mate. It's coming home with me. 20 pence with a plug, cut off plug. Oh, mate, I'm going to get that on eBay straight away. These are the filter boxes for the um, for these big pipes. The biggest pipes are going here. And I think they put like filter canisters in there. And then that would take out the smell of the cannabis. So by the time it comes out and goes to the surface, it's not binging of cannabis. Oh, <laughs> oh dear, what's that? Kirb, K-R, Kirb, Suck, Cock, for Suck, Cock. Yeah, Burke, Suck, Cock, for free, I think. Yeah, yeah. Because he's 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 well loved by everyone who comes down. Look at all the look at all the uh, fluids, the containers. Yeah. More tents. Somebody is taking the roof off that tent because they never used to be like that. So somebody's been messing about. Somebody's been looking into whether or not it was viable to take it away. Probably. I mean, the stuff's been dumped here at the end of the day, so, I mean, rather than let it go to waste. But I'm not, I'm not condoning it because I don't personally take stuff from places, but uh, I, I'm not into cannabis growing. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not into anything apart from, like, sitting down on my arse and having a, a wank. I'm into having a wank. If, yeah, it, if you see any, if you see any having a wanks round you, just tell me. I'll stick them in my pocket. Yeah. Any wanks? Any wank in you? Any, any wank? Any wank? No, nope, no wanks. No wanks given, I'm afraid. Dear, dear. So there's, there's even more down there. This one's tucked away down there, and all the rubbish. So we, you know, we've come, we've come in layers now up, and each area is just full of rubbish and shit between all these bits. You're going to fertilise? Don't blame me. Get it out. Get it out. Oh, yes. See, I, I reckon if you leave something like a bit of fertiliser, you should be able to take something away. As long as you leave something of, equ of equal weight or value. Yeah, so I, like if I leave them about a quarter of a litre of urine, then by rights I should be able to take one of these plastic containers by weight. Yeah. What do you reckon, folks? T Taser would not be happy with this conversation. He'd be like, you see, I told you what they're, what they're like. It's like, Taser, I'm surprised your name's, name's not written up in these friggin' walls in massive letters, you, you twonky. Welcome to Taser. Yeah. Taser Urbux. Toza Ubox. It's a bit needy, isn't it? It's a bit fucking needy putting your name everywhere. Toza Ubox, Toza Ubox. Look at me, mummy. Toza, my name is Toza. I'm the mummy. Mummy, look at me. Mummy! Why are you not listening to me, mummy? Oh. 
you had the whistle stop tour of the minginest cannabis grow room in the UK. Well, it's not actually, it's quite, it's, it's quite a nice place. If you cleaned it out, it wouldn't take much to clean all this crap out. Then you've got a nice quarry that could be used for wine storage because it's naturally low temperature all year round. So you've got free air conditioning. Yeah. A couple of quid. Yep. Follow the pipes, they take you back up to the top. Again, it's quite hard to get lost. First time you come in here, you get a bit confused, but then you realize follow the pipes and kind of and go uphill. Follow the pipes and go uphill, that's the best way to find your way out. It's the three pipes, uh, sorry, the three buckets. The knights who say knee. Oh my god. None shall pass. None shall pass. Oh dear. Oh dear. Yes indeed. <laughs> not, not far now. probably up this way could be wrong it's wet and the water that comes down that ladder runs down this way so it usually takes you back to the ladder it's a good indicator whoops oh, now this is interesting reservoir water Dust of art does. Wow, that is cool. Water. Near to drink of the water. Yeah. Does pooping from the surface and the into dust mining. going up too far now yeah I think we I think we went up here before and it was to the end so yeah dead ends we're not far but it's where <laughs> no dead end See, even I get confused. Oh, got my back. Oh, that uh, that's taking us back round to the way we came. Back round in a circle. That's on the back side of that. <coughs> no. Close though, it's very close. Hot 
take a left. No? Oh, this looks like it. Something from the ceiling. Uh, do, 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 do. No? Don't know. up there. Ooh. Uh, could be up there, might be there. I think it's more up than across. Uh, let's try this. Cave view, it says up there. Uh, uh, what about this? I think I saw that on the way down. We went past that. Yeah, this looks like it's gonna be round its corner, I reckon. Ooh, not sure. Ooh. Still going up. Yeah, this is messy. You know it's near the it's, it's near it, you know. It's getting messy now. Yeah, yeah there it is. There it is. Right. Okay, shall I uh, go first and splash my shit onto your head? As is traditional, you know, so you, you can get all the shit on your head. I like it when I get shit on my head. Yeah. Oh no, it's not. Big ass one right there. Jesus. Nearly, folks. Nearly, folks. I wasn't even looking then. Just looking in front of me. We got five on it. <laughs> yeah. And the thing is, you can lean back as well like, if you need to rest. So, pace to take your time. I just got shit in my eye. go down to get the blood back in them.
Take your time. There he is, folks. Really close to the top, but I still want to rest. Fuck it. There's no point knackering yourself out. It's just not worth it. Because you feel it the next day. Yes. And who said I wasn't fit? Somebody was like, oh, when I was in a, a thing, they were going, oh, he's wheezing like an old man. Yeah, because I just got over a friggin' flu you bastards and they're going not good enough well, I don't see them going down a friggin thing filming it with a load of bags and equipment and shit you know quick to tell you that you're not doing it right but I don't see any channel on it videos on their friggin channels so Zikail Zik fucking Heil to the fucking idiots. Mr. Brady, like, subscribe. <laughs> buy, buy my Chinese wife. Yeah. Yeah. Me love you long time. Yeah. Good off. Send all wives to this this address. Well, that's about it, I think. Really, do I need to film the exit? No. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye from here. Time to go home. Bye bye.